Hello friends, fellow bookworms and bibliophiles, welcome back to my channel. Now over the years I have collected many different things, but at this point in my life I have focused all of my efforts into two collections, and those are books and prop replicas. So I am going to be reviewing one of the prop replica books in my collection, and today's, if you couldn't tell from the hat, is a Back to the Future inspired Grey's Sports Almanac. I'm so excited about this. But before we get started, if you're new to my channel, hello! Welcome to Squirrel's Bookshelf. I'm Jess, Head Squirrel, and always remember that you can hit that subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our squirrely, nerdy, bookish community. Great Scott! It's the Grey Sports Almanac! <gasps> So I am a huge Back to the Future geek. I love the films. And this, of course, is a prop replica book from the second Back to the Future film, the one in which Marty and Doc travel 30 years into the future, into the year <coughs> 2015. And Marty buys this from a Blast of the Past store, which is all themed to the 1980s and vintage things. And he thinks that it will help him make some money when he goes back to the past, but it causes lots of chaos, and in the end it is destroyed. Well, not this one, obviously. This is mine. I have been shopping for a Grey Sports Almanac for quite some time, for many years. I think I made my own one a long time ago. It wasn't very good, but I saw this one on Etsy and I decided to take a chance and buy it because it looks like the best quality I had seen. and. I am so pleased. I am so happy I went with this shop and this replica. Sadly, there is no dust jacket, but I'm not mad at that given the price I paid. It's a very reasonable price for this level of quality. The name of the Etsy shop is RB Replica Store. I will put a link to their shop down below. I'm not affiliated with them. I bought this out of my own money and it is an excellent replica. It is made like a properly bound paperback book. It has glossy covers with just the highest quality printing. Um, if you've seen some of my other replica review videos, you'll know that I am a stickler for anything that's slightly blurry or slightly pixelated, and there is no blurriness or pixelation in this at all. It is very, very high quality. The one inaccuracy I did spot is that the spine is blank, whereas the film prop does have a printed spine, but it is a really skinny spine in fairness. But then the back cover has all of the information as well. It is a very true replica. The size is pretty good. I, I don't have any noticeable discrepancies with the size at all. I haven't actually looked at like the exact proportions and the exact sizing, but it looks pretty darn close to me, so I don't really feel the need to. Now, in some ways, the best part of this replica is the interior. So it is not a blank book. It is not a journal. It has a full title page and it is filled with actual text. Now, it is not a full book of content in text. They did repeat about 20 pages a few times. Um, and then they stuck a few extra pages into the front, like the title page and a sort of contents page. So there is some replication to the pages, but there's enough in here. And the way they've replicated the pages, they're done on different sides. Um, so like one replication will be on this side and the next one will be on this side. So you can't really tell that it's a bunch of repeated books unless you look closely like I did. Um, so it's good to know, but the fact that there is content in here is outstanding. Now my favorite part of the content inside is they do have the football scores from Saturday, October 1st, 1955. And it shows that UCLA wins against Washington State 19 to 17. If you would like to purchase one, I highly recommend this one. Again, I will link the Etsy shop in the description. If you'd like to check them out yourselves, this is outstanding quality. And I am so happy that I bought one because I have been wanting one for years. Now, when I got this, I added my own small personal touch to the replica. RB Replica Store, if you see this video at any point and want to steal my idea, like, feel free. So when I was younger, I made myself a replica of the receipt for the Grey Sports Almanac book from the Blast from the Past store that you can see in the film. So I took this and I just tucked this into the front cover because why not? If you'd like to make one of these yourself, it's pretty easy to find online. I think I'm gonna redo it just with a little better graphics now that I have some more skills. And um, honestly, I just printed it on a clear plastic cellophane plastic sheet thing. 
that you can buy. I can't remember if I laser printed or inkjet printed this. It was so long ago. It was like when I was a teenager. But if you'd like to do one yourself, you can tuck it in there and be super nerd like me. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope everyone is doing okay. I hope everyone is keeping safe and keeping well. But again, just thanks for watching and bye.